It's quiet on this stage now, but it won't be when this concert begins. It's, it's an extraordinary part of the Dallas Wind Symphony season. Please tell us about it. Well, we always look forward to this. Uh, this weekend in January is one of our great traditions, uh, collaborating with the Greater Dallas Youth Orchestra's Wind Symphony. We've done this for a number of years now, and it's just always a wonderful, uh, really wonderful weekend for us. So not only uh, are there amazing things going on for the players, the young players who join with the grown-ups, the professionals, right. but there's a very strong energy between all the people who come to this concert. Uh, there is. Yeah. How, how does that yeah, and it, it, you know, it, it, covered, it touches a lot of bases because it's not only our subscribers, but it's also parents, friends, family members, classmates of the Greater Dallas Youth Orchestra, and maybe alumni of the uh, GDYO organization. So, uh, you know, there's a great sort of cross fertilization uh, in the audience. Uh, people who are here for a variety of different reasons, but it always ends up in an extraordinary concert. It's really great fun for our musicians to join with these young people who are so full of excitement. And they have to be excited for every kind of reason, starting with this incredible hall. They don't see well, this every day. Here, that's right, sure. And this is it's a magnificent place to give a concert. And the, the repertoire is wonderful. Uh, they've been rehearsing for a while. You know, they, they will perform a third of the concert. And then the Dallas Wind Symphony performs a third of the concert. And then we combine, uh, put both groups together in one rehearsal on Sunday evening. Uh, so we wouldn't be able to be standing here if it was set up for the, uh, because there's, uh, you know, 110 people on stage. It's really quite a collection of humanity and musicianship. Um, but they w have to operate quickly and there is a lot of mentoring going on because GDYO members are in between uh, Dallas Wind Symphony members so uh, those rehearsals happen quickly but uh, it really is a great deal of fun. And this year the great piece of collaboration will be? Right, the Polka and Fugue from Schwanda, the Bagpiper by Weinberger, uh, which is one of the great band pieces. It wasn't originally written for band, it was part of an opera. Um, that Weinberger composed, but it's it's one of those pieces that's, I think, more well-known as a band piece, a staple of the band repertoire than it is in its original orchestral version. Plus, it uses the great Mary Preston and the Lay family organ, so it's going to be quite a thrill, I think. And the, the floor is going to shake, and the kids are going to be just just so excited. And I hear something about a pizza party afterwards? Oh, there's always, yeah, on, the, on our Sunday afternoon rehearsal, we always have a bit of a rehearsal, and then we take a break, and we have a pizza party with everyone involved, and then go in and finish the rehearsal off. So it's really a great time. It's a great gift to the community, and it's really the future. It really is, it, and it's just extraordinary to hear these kids. They play so beautifully.